I'm Dean Baker. A long time ago, I had an organization called Mobility Options Research. I built a lot of different tricycles and standards and walkers and devices for handicapped children. Recently, some friends saw some pictures of some of the tricycles I made, and they observed that some of our new vets need this kind of equipment now. Uh, so I was challenged. I went to Fresno and assembled these three machines. They are not finished products like you could sell somebody, but they're representations. They effectively demonstrate what my objective was. It, I don't calculate well, so I didn't make them big enough. My legs are too long as well as for the cameraman's legs are too long. So we brought Dottie along and her legs are short. And she has been able to, uh, to, to ride and demonstrate all this equipment quite well. Dottie's 90 years old and it doesn't seem to be having a struggle at all to, to operate this stuff. Uh, there's a number of physical things wrong with these representations, but they're the best I could do with the money I had to work with. The fellows in Sonoma observed that our current veterans, primarily brain damage, would be able to use this sort of stuff. The eye-hand coordination is not a lot different than rub your head and pat your belly exercise we can all do. I didn't do that right, but we can all do that. When you steer this thing as well as propel it, it causes considerable eye-hand physical coordination to steer it as well as make it go. And I have had some very, very limited children very successfully operate these. And so our neurologically impaired vets should be good candidates. The video would be to attract some fellows so we can get enough money to put together a real promotional video to, uh, to attract some real money. Uh, it's an inexpensive project on the one hand, but it's more than I've got to work with on the other.